Today we're going to combo off so hard that we glitch the game. Well, hello there, random person on the internet, and in this video we are going to create an infinite upkeep. That's quite big. But first, if you're looking for magic cards or anything magic related, cardkingdom.com is your place to be. Check them out, link is in the description. Now, let's go. And here we are. On the draw, hand looks like a keep, opponent, shocks in an overgrown tomb, and a shambling ghast. Well, this might die right away here, but let's play a soulborn. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield, we gain a life. They swing in, we take it, and pass the turn. Yeah, I assume this ghast is gonna to die here. Thalia's Lieutenant, Deadly Dispute, yep, sacrifices a creature to draw two cards. Shamblingas dies, gives a creature minus one minus one, so they are scared of us getting a bunch of life. Let's see what they're up to. Land. And pass the turn. Okay, let's swing in, see if they want to do something. They take it. Okay, play a soul herder. Just a three mana one one, but at the beginning of our end step, we can exile and return to the battlefield a creature we control. And whenever a creature gets exiled, soul herder gets a counter. Too bad it's a spirit, not a human, but we will still get one counter from exiling the lieutenant here. Nope. Oh. Never mind. Still not exactly sure what our opponent is up to here. They play a land and pass again. Okay, kinda sus. <laughs> Let's play a Sage Throw Denison. Whenever another blue creature enters the battlefield, target player mills two cards. And yeah, I gotta admit it, all of this must look hella wonky to our opponent. Thalia's Lieutenant followed up by two non-humans. Sage Throw Denison with only a single other blue creature, but I promise all of it will make sense soon. In fact, if I opponent doesn't stop us, we'll just straight up win the game in our next upkeep. End of turn, flicker the denizen, soul herder gets a counter, collected company, aha, uh -huh. looks at the top 6 cards of the library, put 2 creatures with mana value 3 or less onto the battlefield. Orcish Bowmaster and a Scary Oak. Okay, Bowmaster shoots our face and amasses an army, and I guess let's hope they don't combo off on us here. Another collected company, please nothing too bad. Another Bowmasters and a Bloodflow Connoisseur, I didn't know this was on Arena. I guess that doesn't do it though. Well, if they don't have removal, it's over. Play an Ephemerate, exile target creature you control, then return it to the battlefield under its owner's control. And it also has rebound, meaning if we cast it from our hand, exile it as it resolves. At the beginning of your next upkeep, you may cast this card from exile without paying its mana cost. So let's flicker our Soul Herder, trigger the Sage Throw Dennis, and mill our opponent for two, and now in our upkeep, Ephemerate will rebound, put it on the stack. Now, let's see what happens when we play Nanomeha Master Wizards. When it enters the battlefield, copy target instant or sorcery you control, and uh, yeah, you can probably tell where this is going. Sage Road Denison mills two, Nanomeha copies Ephemerate, target itself to flicker itself, and yep, that's what we call an infinite loop. Let's see if our opponent wants to see us mill their deck two cards at a time. Oh, okay. Understandable. Alright, next game on the draw again. Opponent, Plains, Esper Sentinel. Let's play this tap land and pass. Another Plains, Cleric class, so mono white life gain, I guess. Swings for one. Leonin Vanguard. Okay, are they just playing all one drops? Let's play a land and play Naban, Dean of Creation. If a wizard entering the battlefield under your control causes a triggered ability of a permanent you control to trigger, that ability triggers an additional time. Let's hope we can untap with him, because uh, it's gonna get out of hand real quick. Planes, Voice of the Blessed, whenever they gain life, this gets a counter. Vanguard gains a life at the beginning of combat, grows the voice. Swings in for two, yep, we take it. Well, let's get the party started then. Play a land and play Ether Chandler. When it enters the battlefield, we get to either create a bird token, bounce a non-land permanent, or draw a card. Let's bounce the voice, and since Ether Chandler is a wizard, we get another trigger. Let's just draw a card, because bouncing these one drops isn't really worth it. Pass the turn, and uh, yeah, this is gonna happen every turn now. <laughs> Soul Warden. Replace Voice of the Blessed, gains a life, grows the voice. Vanguard gains a life, grows the voice, swings for two. I mean, we're just gonna do it again. Play a land, play a soul herder, 
they gain a life, grow the voice and at the end of turn, Soul Herder flickers the Chandler, first trigger bounces the voice, a second one draws a card. We are helping them gain life here, but I don't think it will matter in the end. Planes levels up cleric class, so whenever they gain life, they can put a counter on a creature. Vanguard gains a life, a Sentinel gets a counter, swings for four, we are just gonna take it. Draw a land. Okay, we only need one more card to go infinite, so let's see if we can find it. Cast Glass Pool Mimic as a copy of Ether Chandler. Use both triggers to draw a card. They gain a life and put a counter on a creature. And there it is, the final piece of the puzzle. Let's play a land, pass into our end step, flicker the Chandler. Let's just bounce their Soul Warden and Cleric Class since we already have everything we need. They play a land, Cleric Class, Soul Warden. Voice of the Blessed. And last card is a Healer's Hawk. Alright, they swing for four. Let's ephemerate in response. Sentinel draws them a card, sure. Bounce the voice. Create a bird token, chump block the vanguard and here we go, ephemerate rebounds. This one's gonna be a bit more complicated but still lethal. With Naban on the battlefield we'll get two Narumea triggers with every flicker. That means we get two copies of ephemerate with every loop, allowing us to infinitely blink our entire board. Let's use the first one to flicker Ether Chandler bounce their creatures and then use the second copy to blink Nahumea to restart the loop. Flicker the Chandler, bounce their blockers and now we just have to grow this Soul Herder big enough to be lethal. At first I thought it would be funny to create an army of birds along the way just because we can, but at some point I recognized we might run out of time, so I started to only target Nahumea with Ephemerate. This does create a stack full of triggers, but even if we run out of time, the game will still allow us to declare attackers. So we just need to exile enough creatures to get this Soul Herder big enough and uh, we didn't get there in time. At least we still get to swing in here and they probably don't play board wipes. They draw a card, we draw a card for turn, soul herder triggers, well, um, okay, apparently it's now simultaneously our attack step and their turn. Not like clicking attack would do anything, but uh, that is certainly not what should have happened here. Oh, and we seem to be on their timer. Now I wish I managed to replicate this bug and see what happens if you press no attacks here. Maybe they would have just fixed it and give the opponent back their priority. Now you might call this unsportsmanlike, but really Remember that we're only in this situation because I wanted to create a bird army just for the disrespect and likely timed out because of it. Shout out to our opponent for not scooping here. I wish we could see how it looked from their perspective. Let me know in the comments if you have any idea what happened here. Well, and it looks like our opponent didn't want to cast any spells this turn. <laughs> Let's just end this. Play a Thalia's Lieutenant just in case, swing for lethal and I'd say that's gotta be worth tapping that like button for. Oh, you actually did it? <laughs> Thank you. In that case, I think we have time for a bonus game. A little bit of a clunky hand here, but I think we keep it. Play a land, pass the turn. Opponent plays a tapped gate. Yeah, I guess gates are actually a thing in Historic now with Primeval Titan. Let's play an island and Naban. At least they're gonna have a slow start. Another tapped gate. Oh, and we're missing a land drop. Yikes. Let's play a Thalia's Lieutenant. It's not a wizard, so it only triggers one, so only one counter on Naban. Swing in for three and yeah, let's just try to dodge gates ablaze to wipe our board here. So far they don't even have red mana to cast it. Uh, just another tapped gate and we draw a land. Sweet. Let's play Ether Chandler, double trigger, let's draw some cards here. And because of the way Naban is worded, the lieutenant will actually double trigger if a human wizard enters the battlefield. Swing in for six, please no board wipe. Land, Psychultus route, searches for two gates. Well, I guess we have one turn. Wait a second, if we play this Overwhelmed Apprentice, everything will trigger twice. Two counters on the Lieutenant, mill two, scry two, mill two, scry two again. Wait, is this just lethal? We can attack for 10 right now, but if we just flicker the Apprentice enough, well, grow the Lieutenant, mill, scry, mill, scry, and do this again? <laughs> that should just be a lethal attack, right? Oh my god, okay, I guess uh, we were an agro deck after all. <laughs> Wanna see more of my content? Well, check out last episode where we infinitely mill our opponent with Smeargle. This video and more, all in this playlist. Remember to tap that like button, subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one.